Then the old taker is that it no. again, mate? You uh, have gun shield, will travel, mate. You uh, what was it? When did you find out about this? Yesterday. Yesterday I was in um in the gym. Yesterday got the call. Yeah, and straight away jumped at it. Walked well, out of work today. Don't know if I've got a job to go back to, but <laughs> not happy with you. No, they're not. They're not happy. You 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 work with uh, uh, is it like trouble kids? Yeah, in the schools. I do mentoring in the schools. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying to them that usually, if this isn't usually the um, script, is it? We usually turn up the day before, but obviously because of COVID, it's like a four or five day, four or five day outing now. The boxing, so it's just one of those yeah. things. Is it? Is this the first time in a bubble, or did you have to do it last time out against Casey Benjamin? Done it, Done it in Liverpool and against Casey, yeah. So honestly, Lee, I've been sitting back here, nice and relaxed. I think. Knowing that my last three fights, they've all been 10 rounders, good good opponents, Casey Benjamin, Walter Waite, Lee Appleyard and um, Fear on for the Midlands. I'm lying back in the bed. I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable that I know I know I'm at this I know I'm a championship level fighter and it's Well this is this is, this is the fight for you to be able to prove that, isn't it? A real gauge because oh, yeah. as as good Definitely. as everyone else is, I mean Casey's a cracking fighter and a big lad as well, you know. Um, he is a well a welterweight. This is yeah. probably the best weight for you, um, uh, super lightweight. Um, but arguably, the most talented lad you've been in with. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I mean, I take nothing away from um, Sam. He's done everything in the amateurs. He's, he's turned over a pro, as a pro. He's, he's not put a foot wrong. He's he's um, you know he's he's, he's proven and tested. And, um, and and these are the kind of fights that I enjoy. These are the fights that I get up for, Lee. You know, there's many... Um, well, I love being the underdog. I love it. I love being the underdog. And then it just gives me that extra... That extra drive. So, take nothing to Sam. Take, take nothing away from Sam. He's the favourite. It's, it's his show. He's... he's um, and I, I presume... The, the, world, the one thing you're going to hope for is he underestimates you because... You know he should be fighting for the Commonwealth and British title. This is, this is, this is a. He must be gutted. You know what I mean. And he's now got you, the old taker. Yeah. You know the guy who's caused so many upsets over the last few years. It's it's uh, you're, you're you're a real threat to anyone. Yeah, my trainer's just reminded me of. Um, <laughs> I think there's a crazy stat. I'll, I'll be more. Unbeaten fighters than Ricky Atten and Amir Khan. Now, I know I'm not uh, Amir Khan or Ricky Atten, but that's it's something to tell the grandkids anyway. <laughs> like I say, you know, you, you, you're the last, what, 10 fights, 8 wins, is it? You know, and almost everyone unbeaten. Um, not a bad record, is it? And, and no. you told me, I mean, I remember speaking to you after you, uh, you lost to the Apple Yard. And that was mm. another big step up for you at the time. And you said you yeah. learned a lot from that. Um, yeah. And then, obviously, it was a big gamble. That was a short notice fight against Casey Benjamin, stepping up in yeah. weight. Um, yeah. do, you, do you feel that from these losses that you've just recently had, uh, you've learned a lot from them? Yeah. Uh, all, all, all three fights. I mean, you can't... And you, if you're learning at home, fighting... Fighting lads that you should be, you, you can't be learning that much. But when you're turning up in the away corner at short notice, different weights. I fought at light middle. I fought at um, Walter White, light Walter, all against good, good unbeaten lads. That's just learning on the job. I've been learning on the job. I've never done, my, never done myself, um, never done myself injustice. I've always given it my best. A lot of the times, my best has been enough. Sometimes it hasn't been enough. And and Sam will get my best on um, on Friday without a doubt, and I, I can only see it being a cracking fight because I've seen Sam doesn't really take a, a back step either. He's a good boxer, but he, he does like to mix it a bit and get involved. And I think that will play into my hands because you know me, Lee. I'm not going in there to box. I'm not going in there to try and win on the end of the jab. I'm going in there to to try and try and make it a fight of the the 1950s or something like that. So, and that and that can be a nightmare for anyone. 
Well, you are. You, you know, like you say, you proved it on numerous occasions, and you genuinely, you know, you're, you're a champion now. You're the Midlands area champion. Uh, was that Alex Fearon? Was that that was March last year? Um, I think it, I think it was late in that September, yeah. It was scheduled for scheduled for March, but then the uh, oh, really it was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then yeah. you fought in December, didn't you, against Casey? Yeah, Casey and, yeah. and again, that was you run in close there. Was was it two points in it at the end? 95, 97? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full ten rounds as well, getting the rounds in, learning, like you say, going through the bubble again. And I think I'm quite blessed to have got out. I mean, a lot, there's a lot of prospects. That haven't had the because of the small all shows being closed, they haven't had the opportunities to fight. But being the away fighter, um, it's played into my hands a little bit over this last year. We've won a Midlands title, we've, we've fought for an English Eliminator and fought for another title. So, and now we're going up against the uh, WBO European champion, do you know what I mean? So, and we're looking for the win. Is it, I know the is title's this a dream not on the line, but is this a dream come true for you? It's it's all falling together, you know. Lee, boxing's one of those sports you can't prepare, you can't pretend. I'm not an Instagram boxer. I'm not a Facebook. I'm not a Facebook poster boy. But one thing I can do is fight, and one thing I do do is put the timing in the gym. And boxing's one of those sports, you know. You can't you can't pretend to have it. You can't um, you can't post it and and it will become. It's about hard work in the gym, and that's where Sean comes in. Sean, come say hello. Okay. Oh, get back again. There you are. Right, yeah, he put all, put work, and then, then, like you were saying, them, them, them three 10-round fights he's had, his last three fights, he's learned a hell of a lot from them. He's a completely different fighter than when he used to come to see you in Liverpool and Manchester. He's improved so much from them 10-rounders. Them he's a and, different and fighter. Whatever way you look at this, win, lose, draw, whatever happens, yeah, this, this is only benefit you further down the line, can't it? You win, yeah. suddenly the world's your oyster. Um, a good performance, same again. Good, good performance gets someone who should be fighting for the British and Commonwealth title as European champion. It will be happy with. And anything above that's a bonus. And we've had our eye on this one. We've been watching it from afar, thinking, do you know what? We'll train alongside it. I just had a little sneaky feeling. I thought someone could pull out, something could go wrong. I had that little interview with. Um, with uh, Riddy over the so I, there was a little bit there was a little bit there already and I just thought something oh, could happen yeah, here. You had a little bit of a, uh, a spat with him, didn't you? Because you've been shouting out a few people and then you got on the uh, like was it some kind of yeah, Twitter or whatever yeah. it was and uh, yeah the interview. And he, so he we've said been he, he said there's one thing like he said you've got to earn your right and now you've you've yeah. lost a few place. So we've had our one eye on this fight and we've been training in the gym, do you know what I mean? Ready, ready for the call. And, and now we're here. We've nothing like you say, Lee, nothing to lose, everything to gain. You've you've seen me fight on several occasions, you know what I mean? You've been there, you know I don't take a backward step, you know I've not turned up for for a uh, paycheck. I've come to fight, I've come to win. Yeah, well, this is what excites me about this fight. Um, I mean, I was a little bit sad about the uh, your last Time because it was on TV, it was on Channel Five, but they only showed the yeah. highlights and basically you got oh, a bit. They were, they were Casey Benjamin's highlights, weren't they? Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, from what they showed, you weren't in the fight, and and that wasn't the case, was it? No, no. It, was, it was two rounds behind. If you'd won another round, you'd been a draw, so it wasn't that far behind. Funny thing so, about that fight is, I was on about nine o'clock, so I managed to rush home quickly before it was on at Channel Five, which it was airing at ten o'clock. I was watching all the fights, and then. So one fight come on and then they put a new few fights on and the, the time is slowly running out. Then there was some very lengthy, long mince pie adverts and I thought, you know what, they're calling it fine here. And then they must have put me on about the last two minutes. I thought, yeah. I told everyone to stop up, wait up and watch it. And um, I think they caught about 10 seconds of me, but it's the way it goes sometimes. So uh, how's it, you the test and everything now? Um, you had to we got a test down there, the didn't you, today? Yeah, but we've got a test in the morning. Just as we arrived at the hotel, the um, the uh, the tests had just been sent off, so we missed it by about I don't know five minutes. So we've got a test early tomorrow morning, and then um, weighing on the Thursday. So are you like segregated? You can't mix with anyone until 
you get past now. We can go out, but we just can't mix anyone else. We can't mix with any of the fighters because obviously the fighters are in the bubble, but we're at, we are outside the bubble at the moment because we haven't had our tests and so we're going to get them done in the morning. Right, right. And uh, this has been made at 10 stone three. Am I right? Is this what you say? 10 stone three. We'd, we'd have took it at 10 stone, but 10 stone three, 10 st any, anything around down there, we know we're stronger. Have you have you decided what weight your is your ideal weight? Because yeah, you know, yeah, you say you went up to welterweight. We're going to have a bash at lightweight in a bit of down the line. Lee's going to have a bash at lightweight, not before down the line. So he gets on on Friday, and then we'll we'll think what we're going to do. Because he, he makes yeah. he makes low welts are quite easy. He makes nine twelve isn't really a problem for him. So we'll have a bash. No, it's like you say. It's uh, you, you know you you've always put a smile on my face. Uh, you always come up to, uh, uh, you know, you give it everything. And uh, and I just think, I, I really like Sam Maxwell. He's a top guy and a very, yeah, very talented true. fighter. Um, yeah. But I just think this is a great fight for you because this is a great gauge for you. You know, because yeah. let's put it this way, you know, the British title would be something, is your dream, isn't it? Yeah, most definitely. I know definitely. this is British title level, but... I think Sam was a big favourite going into this, even though he's not the champion. He was a big favourite yeah. going into this, and people believe he's going to go on to bigger and better things. So, whatever the performance, as long as it's a good performance, you've got a you've got a a, a different mindset then, won't you? If you can you can perform against Sam yeah. Maxwell. Yeah, we're going in. We're going in as the opponent. That's always the mindset as the opponent. But always, I'm in there to win. I've never, I've, I've never took a fight and gone in there and just. See myself with the rounds. So Sam, I'll, uh, win, 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 lose or draw. Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, um, I'll take it on the chin and we'll move on from there. No excuses from our side because we're we're ready to go. How, how, has it has it been hard for you to get used to this? Because you chose a life on the road. You, you, yeah. You know, it wasn't where you are now. Is nothing like mm -hmm. where you started. You know, you no. started as a kid. He was on the road. If you lost, you lost. It didn't matter. You know what I mean? I'm doing yeah. a job. I'm getting well paid. And, and, and that's it. But then you started causing all those upsets on our shows. Um, yeah. And then you had that phenomenal run. I think it was seven wins on the bounce. Everyone unbeaten. Um, yeah. Then you stepped up a level. Lee Apple Yard. You know, then you end up winning the Midlands area title. You know, then again, you're stepping up on uh, in weight to fight Casey Benjamin, who's uh, a genuine prospect. I mean, Basically unbeaten, he, he's only lost gazing like a was it an ultimate box or that? He, he's only yeah. lost to um, one, there wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, and 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 a big welterweight away as well, you know what I mean? He's he's a big kid, isn't he? So, mm. you know, you where, where do you think you stand now? Is this the fight that you're going to find out in? Well, this is, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is this is the this is the measuring stick, this is the test, this is the biggest, this is. In, in my head, this is my moment. This is my time to shine. So it's all. Well, it's area level now. You're above yeah. Area level. So you think a good fighter. You're above area level. Yeah. I think with the, this, level. this will be the, the measuring stick. So we've um, I've, I've never looked too far ahead as far as where I want to go. It's always been all oh, right. Well, I got here. I didn't expect to get here. Let's push on. Or oh, and then I'll get there. And then didn't expect to get here. Let's push on. So there's no um. I'm not. I'm not deluded. I'm not crazy in, in thinking I'm going to win a world title or anything like that. But anything, any sort of um, whatever the next steps are, whether it, whether it's English, do you know what I mean? English you, level, you, you, English level. The way your career has changed over the last few years, you keep winning. You you you've got to start thinking that way, though, haven't you? Good point, good point, Maxwell. Yeah. Definitely. You put yourself in, put you there, yeah. And I think I, I think I really think Maxwell's style is made for a cracking fight. I think it's made for a cracking fight. If he was a bit, if he was a mover, slick, do you know what I mean? Stay out the way. I think it would be. I think I, I don't think it would be too too good to watch. But he, he's game. Do you know what I mean? He's a good fight, and he, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna want me pressuring him, pushing back. He's gonna fight back, and that's where that's where we're gonna meet. That's where you're gonna steal the show. You two gonna steal the show. Yeah, I can well, see it. I, I, I like Sam, so all I'm going to say is, you know, may the best man win. But I just yeah. know with you, Ben, you're never ever in a bad fight. So come no. Friday night, tune into uh, BT Sports, is it? BT Sports, 7 pm, yeah.
and uh, like I say, uh, may the best man win. But uh, I know, I know, I'm going to win in this because I'm going to watch ten great rounds of boxing, or however long yeah. it lasts. Right, eight rounds, eight rounds. Was it eight rounds? Four. Is it eight rounds? Yeah. Well, like I say, uh, good luck for Friday night, and uh, I'll uh, I'll catch up with you soon. John, nice take care, mate. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.